Gina Cooks, day one. I'm cooking one of my specialties because um, Sonia taught me how to cook last time and her recipe I got to say was kind of fancy for me which is good but this is the kind of recipe if you are someone like me that is really bad at cooking I'll share in a little bit of bad cooking <laughs> incident I had earlier this week um, and share some others it was bad um, if you follow me on Facebook, you know. If we'll not, I'm gonna right here, right between us. I'll put that. Photo. Yes, it'll be right there for you to see. Yeah. And so this is you're just, you're gonna see how I really cook. We'll do some more, where she shows me some of her recipes, and we'll see if I can get better. But this is this is how how I cook. But you know what? Some people like really thrive that way. Like this yes. is how they do it. Like it's. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's no. fine. It, it is. We all just do us. We do us. I was thinking actually earlier, a little bit ago. So my husband has a garden. It's a beautiful garden it's for beautiful. Wyoming. You can't believe it. Actually, these potatoes, um, these are, I peeled them already, but these are red potatoes. And you'll see, like, look how big those are. We have one. I'll, I'll send it. It is like the size of my palm. Red potato. That is awesome. Um, he cans things. He makes salsa, he makes, and it's, he does most of the cooking. I you know what? It's do a any of relationship. Those yes. You I don't make, make bread. Each other's deficit, deficits. Yes. That is yeah. awesome. My deficit is definitely cooking. <laughs> well, and definitely. I want to check out his garden, so maybe we okay. can even put some footage of that. Oh, yeah. In you know, there. Like we'll mm -hmm. put it right here. And um, because I want to do some hydroponic stuff, because that, I know that he's been doing that. Yes, he did do some of that. What we're going to make is potato ham chowder. I made this the night after my disaster because I had to redeem myself. <laughs> and this is one of those things. So um, this is one of the things that I can do. Now, today um, we're just using cans of cream of chicken soup, which honestly, I don't, I make my own cream of chicken soup now because mm -hmm. it's much more delicious than this. But my husband bought a case at the case lot and I'm like, eh, I don't use that anymore. I mean, you would think that I would because <laughs> that's how I cook. But I, it's super easy and fast and just kind of for time's sake and fastness sake, then we'll just use these today. Um, because well, a lot of people- And if you're and on if the you're, go, yeah. like, we all need fast, quick yep. meals. So um, normally I don't use these, but today we're going to. Um, and also the recipe that you see that I'm cooking today, I'm going to double it today. Okay. Um, just kind of because it's a little bit easier as well. So um, yes. and we'll what you that, see today. We'll put that in the description or mm -hmm. in the comments or something. Check yes. it out and you'll probably in the description on YouTube. Yeah. I have already cut up the onion and I'm cutting the potatoes right now. This is the great thing about this recipe, the onion. When it goes in there, cooks with the potatoes, kids never know what's in there. So if your kids that's are kind good. of picky, they won't know that the onion is in there. So I'm going to... And that's the thing. You just don't let them see it, guys. No, don't let them see while you're cooking. Never let them see the mm -mm. onion. But I'm running out of space on the cutting board. That's another problem that I have. I don't really know how to manage that. So I'm going to put this much of the um, potatoes and onions. I don't know if you can see... Whoa. Ooh, the onions, but they are in there. And then I'll finish cutting these other two potatoes. Um, this is another cool thing about this recipe or that you'll find out about my cooking is that I, well, sometimes I do measure. This recipe, I don't. So it calls for like a cup of onion. I don't measure that out. I just cut up like half an onion and put it in there. Um, that's what and I do with like baked potato soup. I yeah, put an extra I mean, potato, I put an extra sour cream. Yes. So this has, I think it says, what does it say on it? Um, two cups of cubed peeled potatoes, two to three medium. I did five potatoes just because I like it to be potatoey. I do too. So if you kind of don't want that, then do less potatoes. Um, this maybe actually is kind of going to be a lot of potatoes. Um, the other thing that I did actually when I made it the other day and I was like, oh man, this is not going to be good, but it ended up being fine is it calls for one cup of water. Mm -hmm. 
I actually had a lot of water to boil all the potatoes and then I dumped some of it out because what makes it good is kind of the potato onion juice that you cook it in. Uh -huh. So um, just uh, don't use too much water because I one time it did get watery. Um, but don't like I don't really measure out one cup. I just kind of put in there what I think the potatoes will need and that's what I use. Uh -huh. So what you can if you feel like you need to then measure. The biggest prep work for this is cutting up the potatoes and the onions. You want the potatoes in, um, you know, about like bite-sized pieces like that. And then you don't want them to be the same size as the onions. I cut the onions pretty small. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you gotta hide them. For yeah, your kids. you don't want your kids to know. Are you scared of my cutting yet? Or are you okay? I'm. I'm have a little anxiety with the bread knife, but that's okay. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> 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 I think they're like an ice pick at the end. It's this terrifying. I feel like is the best knife for cutting these potatoes. Well, and if it is for you and you feel comfortable, that's but, great. <laughs> but what would you use instead? I, I like this little knife. end right here. It oh, like goes yeah, it all the way. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know. I, well, I really thought about my... Because sometimes I use this. Pair, Just a steak okay. knife. Oh, okay. <laughs> my husband is like, that is not for cutting vegetables. And I'm like, well, it seems to be working fine. Yeah. <laughs> so nice I, I really thought this was a good choice. <laughs> so well, no, this isn't the best choice. It's serrated. For and if you don't, if your knives aren't sharp, then that might be a good thing to use just because you're not going to hurt yourself. You, you use what you're comfortable <laughs> yeah. with. I, yeah, I really did. I mean, I was like, oh, this is a good knife for cutting up the potatoes. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just a chef knife guy. She knows all the tricks. I just, I don't. I don't know all the tricks. I, I think just you do. like a good. All right. Good so chef then knife. we just turn this on high and you just want to boil the potatoes, the water, obviously. I mean, yeah, that maybe isn't obvious to me, but, and the onions <laughs> until the potatoes are soft. So that's what we're going to do now is okay. just let that boil. Um, this recipe after this part is super easy. You just kind of dump everything in and stir it until awesome. it's good. And so um, it was kind of tricky to do this recipe for that reason because I was like, it's so good and easy, but then there's not a ton of prep for it, which is good. But well, like for me, the cutting of the potatoes and the onions is a long time for the prep. So I didn't want to do all that on camera. I can show you a tip okay, for cutting do. onions. And I don't know, um, you probably don't have another onion. Well, you know what? I have a half onion and it would be fine in here because I did double the recipe. So why don't you show okay. us? Yeah. So we're going to pretend this is a full onion. Just pretending. Pretend. And you would, this part here, the, the butt of it, where you have all the, the stem stuff, that always goes on the bottom. And you would take the top and you just kind of cut off the little top thing and peel it like you've done. Okay. Then you're going to go like this and you're just going to cut... Oh. Down like this <gasps> first, okay? So you're just cutting down. I'll show you on the camera in just a second. There you go. Oh, there. And then you're going to go the other direction. So, oh. like you're making little squares. And you're going to go, like, from the top of this big, huge onion to do this, okay? But we don't have a big, huge onion. So, we we'll just use have, this. Which is, it's all held together with this little thing on the bottom, see? So you have all these squares. It's like a blooming onion kind of thing. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Then all you have to do, easy peasy lemon squeezy. You just go like this. Make sure your fingers are like a claw okay, so you don't cut. Yeah, this this always scares me. And I then you just like go like this. And you have Whoa. an instant diced onion. Look at that. Your whole entire onion is that just like. That is incredible. Look at that. Burp, 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 burp. Totally done. I mostly like to use yellow onions. Um, I don't. I don't ever use white onions. Very rarely. I okay. Use, I use yellow as well. Yeah, and I think you could use red onions in this recipe. Um, we have a ton of red onions um, from our garden. Um, the we have some more. They're so sweet. Yellow. Sometimes. It's yeah, hard and to so find I. Right, yeah. Savory, sweet. Palette, yeah, I just balance. don't think I don't feel like they go with this recipe. But you could also, I will say about this. Normally, I use russet potatoes in mm -hmm. this recipe but because we have those red um from the garden mm -hmm. then i use those and that's so, acceptable it is so we're gonna talk about my husband's garden a little bit i'm gonna brag on him these let me get close these are all of the tomatoes 
Amazing. From the garden. They, unfortunately, with our crazy snowstorm, this one is almost a little bit red. Um, I'll have to give you an update. He's going to try um, a recipe with green tomatoes. Oh. Um, and then, of course, the potatoes in here are from our garden. The Usually, we have squash and zucchini coming out of our ears. But this year, we just have, like, little tiny ones. And, like, we have had some huge ones. Well, the like weather has uh, been bizarre in Wyoming. And just bizarre. Yeah, guys. it froze twice in July. Or not July, June. The weather. The storm in September. So, you know, yeah. it was, this might be from our garden. A little tiny red one with a little... Little hole. Hole. <laughs> little friend in there saying hi. <laughs> okay, while this is boiling, um, I thought it would be fun to tell you a few more of my cooking disasters. Oh, please do. So, um, but I don't I don't want to give them all away because what? No, we got to save them for other episodes, For other episodes. Guys. So I'll just share a few with you today. But the pot roast. So I made a pork roast uh, in the pressure cooker. <laughs> and... I kind of feel like that was a bad idea. I was really a little bit nervous about it. Kevin <laughs> specifically told me about a pressure cooker that it is like a bomb. Yes. So I'm barely scared of it. You have to go in sequence to like... Yeah, and you can't... To release the steam. Yes. And like sometimes it steams anyways, so that makes me nervous because I'm like, oh, is it exploding? And on, so what day did I make that? Monday, I was thinking... Like it was steaming and I was sitting on the couch and I was like, oh, 2020 would be the year that I would blow that thing up. So whole house. I, the whole house. Oh, like, boom, and across the street all no. Got like, oh gosh, Jeannie used the pressure cooker ah. again. But my parents bought us a pressure cooker. Like an oh, Instapot? One? Yeah, an Instapot. Okay. But it's not um, Instapot brand. It's oh, uh -huh. just yeah, a brand. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's just a... So it has a crock pot feature on it. And... It turns off after so many hours. And it, I feel like it cooks fairly hot. But, so I don't use the pressure cooker setting very often, just because I am legitimately scared of it. So I just mostly use it as the crock pot. And that is what I should have done. I thought about making this roast. It was like two in the afternoon. Totally would have been plenty of time. I know it. But I was like, oh, I'm gonna try it on the pressure cooker setting. So I put it in for meat. Now I will say this. Now, and I posted this on Facebook. I do partially blame my sister-in-law because she really should have discouraged me from doing this, but she didn't. I think she's like, oh, you can do it. It will be fine. Even though she knows I can't. I don't know. Maybe she just likes the stories. <laughs> Every, like the everyone stories. does. Everyone does. It's like does. everybody on Facebook is I like, know. what's Gina up to with her cooking this week? It's actually a little disappointing when things turn out well, you know? Oh, right. So, and my friend, Nicole, um, she was like, who let you use a pressure cooker? <laughs> I was like, I know, I know. So That's I put hilarious. it in. Now it was frozen and I let it sit out. And both my mom and Kayla told me it would probably be fine frozen. They were like, it's best not to. So yeah, you can in Instapot. Yeah, I right? Mean, I haven't done it, but you can do it. Yeah. Like there's well, instructions generally for like frozen or oh yeah and not. i didn't read the instructions either i and i did defrost it a little bit and i seared it on both sides and i seasoned it look at you i know and i put it in there i put it on meat and let it do its thing and it got done and it was not cooked e. so and it was i think probably like 20 minutes 26 minutes now that's a long time for a pressure cooker i mean those things cook fast well, it depends on what you are cooking. There's a certain amount of warm up time, and then there's the right. actual cook time. And that was and like the cook time, you know. There was the warm up and the end time. Mm -hmm. and, that's... and then there's the natural release, and then there's the quick release. Yeah, and I may have done a quick release, which. How, uh, how many pounds was this? Well, I don't know because. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> she doesn't know the weight of her meat. No. That's part of the problem. I, I know. <laughs> Don't you think when you put it in the Instapot, the Instapot knows? No. Knows no. How to cook it? <laughs> okay, so no. There's not that to go with this. <laughs> that is false. So we bought a pig this summer and had it cut up, and it didn't say how many pounds it was. So it was, I feel like, Do you about. Have a scale? No. <laughs> it's <tricked you. laughs> I know. So uh, that, and I, that's when I'm sitting on the couch, and I'm like, oh my gosh, if it blows up. 
Like, <laughs> it's just, and then I'm like, oh, it's, I, if, what if it's ruined? I was so nervous. So I open it and it is not cooked. So then I put it in for 10 more minutes and it is still not cooked. Now, my son, for a scout fundraiser, we had to go out and pick up all the flags that we put around town. Oh, yes. I remember that night. Yes. And I put it off a half an hour later because I thought, well, we want to eat dinner because it's going to take a while. So we might as well eat first. Well, it's not ready. Even uh, it's not ready. It's like I cut it and it is just like oozing blood. Not yeah. ready. And pork. I mean, you can't eat pork like that. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. She wants some worms. Yeah. yeah. No. So not ready. And my husband is usually home by this time. Not home. I'm like, oh, great. So I can't <laughs> on the counter. We leave and I call him. He doesn't answer. Then he calls me like a while later and he's like, why don't you just put it back in then? And I'm like, well, I don't know. I, I don't know. But we came back at 830 and it was still in the pressure cooker. He put it in there. When we came home at nine, it was done and it was fine, but it was not tender. It was not okay. great. It was edible, but it was it was yeah. not as bad as the one on Christmas vacation, the turkey. Yeah. It was not that, that bad. That is awesome. It was not that bad. That would be so impressive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. That is impressive. I Let's start calling I, Catherine. <laughs> I know. I bet I could do that. <laughs> it was definitely edible. Mm -hmm. Not so, like, it really needed gravy because yeah. it, it was not that tender. I was making a cheesecake. Again. Not, no, not that kind of cheesecake. Oh. Don't get carried away. I'm so <laughs> excited. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that, that, I don't even dream Did about doing something job, like that. Johnny, oh, I went, cheesecake? You made a cheesecake. Advanced. I was yeah. like, oh, wow. I should have done that today. That would have been a nice like dinner pairing or something. But yes. yeah, I did not do that. This is a super fast recipe. So you take a can of sweet condensed milk, okay. a package of cream cheese, Okay. A half cup lemon juice, probably, I'll have to say on the vanilla, a teaspoon maybe, or a tablespoon of vanilla, one of those. I think that's it. And you just put it in the blender and blend all that up and put it in a pie crust. This is a Gina recipe. I know. See, this is how I cook. And then you put it in the fridge for an hour and it's like beautiful. It's really good. Nice. Delicious. So I'm making that and my blender is kind of crappy. So it's not like blending all the way. <laughs> oh, this is actually one of my favorite stories. <laughs> so I, oh. I decide, I just, <laughs> I just want to stir it a tiny bit because it's not stirring all the way. So not this kind, but a, like those plastic spatulas, you know, that you like mm -hmm. scrape out. I, I just see what's coming. <laughs> I stick it down inside there just enough that I can mix it a little bit, but it goes down a little <laughs> too far and gets blended up in the cheesecake. It was like chunks of Did it, it taken out. Did it explode out the top? No, it didn't. Really? I was gonna yes. start looking on your ceiling for evidence I know. because- No, there probably is some evidence up there, but no, it did not. It just chopped wow. up my spatula. Well, I guess if it would have been that spoon, it probably would have. It would have just hit it. Yeah, I think so. It was, you know, this kind. Wow. You know the kind, like this. Yeah. This one, and it just, Chop Shredded that it. thing. I mean, and then you can't pick that out. No, because it was white. It's and a the, waste of beautiful cheese. I was so upset, and <laughs> the spatula was it's ruined. A barn. I know it was very sad. And I have to say, if it could blend this up, why was it not blending up that soft mixture? Right. I feel like that was not entirely my fault. Mm. What I should have done right is stopped the blender. And yes. mixed it. Yes. It just no, it just your ruined the cheesecake and the spatula. Yeah. And was like one more story to add to my book. One because more. Because seriously, I like why didn't I just stop the blender? But I just like I wasn't gonna go all the way down. <laughs> I was just gonna like I wasn't going I, to. I wasn't going to do that. I was just gonna help it, and it was just like instant, like, like oh no, Aww. it was very sad. That was. That's awesome. I wish you had taken a picture of the spatula. I know. We would have kept that for posterity. I, I wonder if I do have a picture of that. Oh, look I do it. take a lot of pictures of my disasters because it's funny. It is. And she can laugh at herself. I can. Yeah. But most of the time, I just have to laugh about it because who does that it's kind of stuff? It's laugh or cry, people. I there do. There are just things. We have talents and some things we don't have yes. talents. 
And and that's why we're doing the Gina Cooks thing because if she can do it, then you can too. Yes. And we need. <laughs> But my kids <laughs> do love easy. this. They were yeah. so excited when I was making it. But that, but we need these fast, easy, quick meals. Yes. Um, because everyone's busy these days, and everyone's on the go. So no. We gotta get moving and yes, get and food I food done. Here, do you want to try that potato? Yeah. I will say this too. Embrace your. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, embrace your deficits. Your because. If you can laugh at yourself, then other people can. And it's okay. You can't be good at everything. I mean, I'm good at probably 99.9% .9 of things I do. He's really <laughs> that, good. That's a big exaggeration. 99.5% um, of things I do. <laughs> but but I am you not good at cooking. I'm not. That's and okay. I'm also not on time. I'm not good at being on time. It's just, you know. But you're a creative soul and you've got a lot of Did you turn on. that down? Or no. did I? Okay. <laughs> Kevin will turn things down while I'm cooking. He'll come in and be like, no. And I'm like, leave that alone. I cook things on my on purpose. <laughs> he, he's like, oh it gosh. Makes things quicker. It does make things quicker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, milk. I forgot the milk. Let me get out the milk. I forgot about the milk. <laughs> I was going to have everything ready. That's okay. That's okay. Um... One and a third, two times. I don't, did I put milk in the other day? <laughs> not, I think I did. And again. <laughs> See, I was But guess what? It was still good. <laughs> oh, man. So milk, which on the recipe it says one and three-fourths cup. We're going to do three and a half because we're doubling the recipe. So then you're just gonna like pour all this stuff in here. Okay. Cause I just, you know. All right, so we did the milk and we'll do the soup and the sour cream. Now these, because I did um, last time, I'm just gonna put that in there. And this is how I get things out. Because I just squeeze the can till it comes out. Do you do that? Or you have like a good... <laughs> yeah. I just use like a spatula. A spatula. Or I feel like that is a good idea. Because it's going to go in there. It's, it's going to plop. Be like and a, it's yeah. going to spray everywhere. Oh. Okay. Let's see. I'll just stop. <laughs> and then you just want to kind of cook this. Oh, it's kind of stuck. That's because I squished the can. That's the problem. I should not have done that. But really, I don't like this kind of soup. I'm kind of grossed out by it right this second. Yeah, that, it's really uh, it's, gross looking. It's not good. Oh my gosh, it's very gel gelatinous. Guys, don't use that. Uh, so the recipe that I use, <clears throat> I just Google cream of chicken substitute. And I think I did this one time because I didn't have any cream of chicken soup. Yeah. Okay, let me add in the sour cream too. So normally you do um, so also one can of cream and chicken soup. We did two because we're doubling it. And then um, one cup of sour cream, but I'm gonna do two because we're doubling it. The sour cream I think is what makes this so delicious. Oh yeah. Oh, so good. Sour cream makes everything good. <clears throat> so after I mix all of this up, um, I'm gonna give it a minute to get mixed up and then I'll put the ham in and I you could do whatever you want for ham if like this is what I do because it's easy diced ham already and then I just put that in there but you could get your own ham and cut it up and dice it if you wanted if you're fancy or have a lot of time or a gourmet cook which I am none of those things um and then you know you can salt and pepper to taste as well and then the other thing that we do is we like to grate cheese and yes. put it on top of the soup. It's so good. You don't have to do that, but I think we all oh, like it that. It makes the soup. Oh, it makes it so good. Timer. Here goes the ham. I like to boil eggs. I make these things called smash eggs, and they're so good. This is my dad's recipe. Maybe I got my cooking skills from my dad. <laughs> um, you just boil eggs, and then you... Um, peel them and smash them up and while they're hot and mix them with butter and salt and pepper. 
Oh my gosh, yeah. they're so good. And not, and not yeah. So what I idea. like to do is because I just I don't really like to cook and I want it to be done. <clears throat> and I'm always running late because I sleep in too long and I think, oh, I have lots of time, and then I really don't. So I will put the eggs to boil and I'll let them boil while I'm taking a shower. But they only are supposed to boil like 13 minutes. Well, I, <laughs> I let them boil for like 30. <laughs> They're fine. Strike. <laughs> a 30 minute egg, you could bounce that thing off the wall. I know, but I don't feel like they're overdone. They're overdone. <laughs> okay, 13 minutes. 13 minutes. Well, okay, it's, I'll take faster to 15, showers. 15 to 15. Not to 15. 20. Well, and, and you're not you... the first person to tell me that either, but that's why I have cooking disasters because I do things like that. I let things boil while I'm in, you know, things yeah. are in the shower. And I have not ever, I've come out and they, like the water has almost been gone. That's terrifying. I know. <laughs> What's going to what? happen in your older years when you have the Alzheimer's and stuff? Your kids are going to have to put the stoves away from you. <laughs> yes, they are. They you're going to, instead of probably... working in the nursing home, you're going to be living <laughs> no. there, honey. They probably should do that now. So if I just put it in with cold water, did that, I'd be fine. I'd be fine. I have been fine. I mean, <laughs> oh. I'm really glad I live across the street and not next door because the fire hazard situation. <laughs> not good. Here is what's so great about my cooking. Is that this is so not great about, your <laughs> about my lack of cooking skills? Is so far what you've heard in the, these two episodes is not an exclusive list of disasters or bad choices that I make in the kitchen. There is a lot more. Well, uh, that's what makes it so great. See, this is what we need to have a, a special, maybe I'll set up a special blog page. <laughs> Where we can put the recipes and then all we have to do is put the link and then it will be easier. Yes. The soup is done. I feel like you should try it on camera. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's really risky. She, I... I'm excited though. Okay. You actually. don't feel like, you don't no. feel scared or maybe like you I'm want to I'm not actually because I watched you make it. I know what's in it. I know. Yes. My I didn't problem... cut my finger off even though I know you were afraid I was going to maybe. Well, you know... I think my biggest problem with food, when people make food, is I don't know their cleanliness situation. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? That yep. is where I have an issue. <clears throat> like church food, if they have a potluck. Yeah. You don't know. I'm terrified. I, I, there's too many botulism E. coli things. I don't know oh, if they wash yeah. their hands. No. So that's where I am. Yeah. So yeah, I'm fine. Even if something tastes okay. bad, as long as I know it's <laughs> clean, I'm fine. I, and I'm not going to taste it first because I I think it should be a legit experience it of you be. trying my cookies yes. just in case. And then, of course, you can always have more. Okay. Now, okay. Look how cute your bowls are. Aren't those cute? They're very Wyoming-esque. Yes. Here's a spoon. Look at that. A little elk. A little elk. And then here's some cheese. So you Ooh, put yes. as much on. I want a little bit of, of cheese on the top. Yeah, cream in here. Here we go, guys. It's kind of hot, so I'm going to... Yeah, it is kind of hot. It just like it's hot. So don't right burn yourself because that ruins it. That is delicious. Oh, good. Whew. It's good. That is delicious. That, that is delicious, guys. Gina has done it again. Gina cooks. Whoop. <laughs> Okay, guys, I did it. I made soup. If I can do it, you can too. Super easy. And delicious. Yes, it's so good. My kids love it. They love it. With I do too. Mm -hmm. If you like our channel, do all the things. Subscribe, ring the notification bell, comment, like, share. Yes. Are those all the things? Comment, like, share. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do all those things. And do those things on both Facebook and um, on YouTube because... Yes. Uh, yeah. Important. So we can get enough followers on YouTube. Let's see if you can find us on social media on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, everything. Facebook. Yeah. A blog coming soon. Yes. We have a, a little cooking blog of Gina's recipes <laughs> that's going to be coming soon. It'll be fun. Yes. It will be yeah. fun. New videos. 
every week, Tuesday, 7 a.m. Next week, we're doing a fall, uh, fall fun episode, fall. Yes, things ex- we love about fall. Yes, which we do. Oh, I love, love fall. fall. I do. <laughs> I love fall. I used to think spring was my favorite. It, that's not true. No, because spring in Wyoming is ugly. It's I'm just going to tell you. Bad. Short of some tulips that all the deer eat and we can't even enjoy them anyway. Yeah. It always snows. Spring is hideous and it's depressing here. Yes, because it's like, woo, winter is finally over. Oh no, just kidding. It's not. It's spring is still, a teaser here. Yeah. Well, there's not actual spring. It's a no. teaser. It's like, teaser. Ah, just kidding. Yeah. But fall? Oh. Mm. So join us for our fall video because... Yes, all things fall. We do. There is something in the works. I'm not going to spill the beans. Can't spill the beans. But, but oh my gosh, I'm a little terrified of it. And mostly excited and very terrified. It's yes. co- I think it's going to be hilarious. I think so, too. We, have a, we have a friend that's going to help frightening. us. And we're going we're gonna to be brave. And, uh, yeah. We'll yeah. See. You'll, you'll see what happens. You will. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Okay. See you next week. Bye. Bye. We have we've never had gas. We've always had electric. And my That's sister, good. I hate when I have gas. <laughs> <laughs> we have gas all the time. <laughs> we had gas growing up. <laughs> I love this conversation. <laughs> I don't. I don't have gas anymore. <laughs> I've moved on. <laughs> Resolve some digestive issues. <laughs> so I love. <laughs> I love gas. <laughs> Because it's so fast, but for someone like you that kind of has its explosions in the kitchen. For someone who has explosions in the kitchen, gas is probably not working. <laughs> You'd be lying, these things are fire. I would. Um, I do want to just say one thing about gas. I really do not like burps. <laughs> I think that farts are, I would rather that people farted all day than burps. We need to know how to do these fast, queasy, queasy. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. She <laughs> hasn't tried it yet. You wait till we're done. It could be queasy. I should say, really, I should go back to when I said that, that my roast was Kayla's fault. It really wasn't. <laughs> so Kayla, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I tried to double out you twice on Facebook and on my videos. It's not your fault. Ooh. Now I. <laughs> <laughs> See, get back to our fractions. <laughs> um. <laughs>